Graham Potter. We need to explore the virtues and the merits of Graham Potter. Helping me do it is none other than the wonderful Ade Oladipo. Ade, I can't say how much looking forward to this, but what we're going to do in this video is keep it confined to Potter. Mm. So we're not going to look at the Chelsea players. We're not going to bring into the equation the board or anything like that. We're going to do our best to explore the merits and qualities of Graham Potter and okay. answer this important, imperative question. Is Graham Potter capable of managing at Chelsea or is he totally and utterly out of his depth? He's out of his depth. I think that's been proven. Um, and I know it's only a short window. What has he had? 18, 19 games as Chelsea manager. And I feel like that's enough, though, to see his qualities and what he maybe lacks. And for a good as manager as he is, look, I mean, look, people are talking about him getting the Man United job that Eric Ten Hag took. People are talking about him. I think we've both spoken about him replacing Gareth Southgate as England manager. So there's clearly talent there. But to become Chelsea manager today, you're not an Angelotti, you're not a Conte. And what those managers come with, they don't just come with the CV and the trophy cabinet. They come with this, this sort of air of, I am who I am. I'm arrogant, I'm confident, chest up, players respect me. No one can say anything to me because I am that kind of manager. He doesn't have that. And I think your top players, I think they they feed off managers like a Conte, a Klopp, a Guardiola, a Mourinho. I don't think they feed off or in any way have any... I don't know if you need fear from a manager, but I do think there needs to be a level of sort of respect the manager commands. And I don't think he has that about him. I think you were right the first time. Okay, I don't, I don't fear, see why it, yeah? fear, fear... Look, that, fear c comes in many forms, doesn't mm. it? You can be fearful of a teacher, but they can be the biggest impact on your life. You can be fearful of a parent, yeah. but adore them. It isn't... Fear often has like... Like, I don't mean terror. Yeah. yeah, I don't mean terror. No. But I think I think being aware of a presence and fearful mm. of repercussions. 100%. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And he, I, I don't think he has that. And look, look, I've never met him. I've, I've never interviewed him. And, you know, hopefully, you know, in our jobs that we, we get to sometime. But I don't know if he has that. I've looked at him in interviews recently and I, I don't sense that from him. And I don't think Chelsea is such a big club with so many big personalities that you're going to need that. And if you don't have that, the players will send you that you don't have it. And I think the players will take advantage. And if the players even drop a few percentage, especially in the Premier League, you'll get found out. And I feel like that's kind of almost what's going on right now. He's a good manager, but he's not good enough for Chelsea. He's good for Brighton and the jump's been too big. It's difficult to go. It does remind me a bit of when Brendan Rodgers went from Swansea to Liverpool. Good manager. Ultimately, you kind of get found out a little bit eventually because that jump's pretty big and I feel like the jump's been a bit too big for him. Is it is it fair for me to say this? Graham Potter is an excellent manager. We've seen a track record of an excellent manager, somebody who's devoted to the game, yeah. somebody who people are very sneery about, maybe because he doesn't necessarily have the most glamorous of credentials, mm. but ultimately what he achieved. Do you, know, do you know what? I think you can present things in two different ways. Let's use the fact that he was at Leeds Metropolitan University a decade ago. Mm. I think the easiest thing to do is be really sneery about that. Pff, was he Leeds Met 10 years ago? What's he doing at Stamford Bridge? It's yeah. one way. Yeah. But that's definitely not us because you and I have both bonded over a respect to the hustle. Mm. Get there. Get to the, get to the, wherever you've got to get to, get there. And it doesn't matter how you get there. And then on some level, winning a Champions League, if you're Zinedine Zidane, is a lot easier than getting to manage the champ in the Champions League if you're Graham Potter. Oh. Because he's had to come and do it via Ross's, you know, it's, mate, it's harder. Mate, and therefore deserves more respect. 100%. And I, I completely agree with you. For those that are sneery at his journey and maybe say he shouldn't be managing the club because he's come through this route as opposed to, as you say, getting one of the, the glamour Hollywood managers, I respect the hustle. Mm. I, I completely do. But there even gets to a stage... Even with us, potentially, and hopefully it doesn't happen where, you know, we, we're not journalists. We we didn't study journalism in, in university, in college. Even gets to a point with us where, okay, our hustle can only get us so far. We've got to somehow break the barrier with other stuff. And I feel like his hustle has done him well to get him the Chelsea job. But you need another, you need a bit more. You need, you need a bit more to take this role on mm. because this role isn't for the faint-hearted. You know you're only guaranteed a couple of seasons if that. 
You look at the big, big managers that have come through the door at Chelsea and have been swallowed by it. Mm. Like, it it's too much. I, I can't... Ha okay, mm. I can do well yeah. for a season and a half, but it's Mourinho. Scolari. Scolari won a World Cup. They, you, look, at the, <laughs> look at the list of managers that have come through the door and have been shown the P45. But, but, but incorrectly, it, uh, on some, in some examples, mm. I'm not talking about Scolari here, but in some examples, incorrectly. Unfairly. Like, imagine being sacked. Imagine being sacked because you did the unimaginable, unpardonable thing of finishing fifth. Yeah. Or the no, no, no. unimaginable... No, no. Imagine him being sacked if you're Roberto Di Matteo and you won the Champions League. Ancelotti the double. But it's not enough. Like, simply sacking managers isn't, isn't the whole point of the new era at Chelsea to not be that, to, to hold our nerve in this situation. Yeah. And I think that we have to hold our nerve, but you can only hold your nerve if you're holding your nerve for the right person. Is there an Arteta thing with Potter? Do, do you think Chelsea should look at... What happened with Mikel Arteta? It got really bad. Mm. You know, they were in a European final with Emery. Yeah. Arteta, it was turgid for two years. You yeah. know, two seasons. Eighth, eighth, no European football. Mm. Potential league it's, wins. It's quite similar, right, in terms of having to bomb certain people at the club. Because I think Chelsea needs to do that. <laughs> Same fella. Same fella. <laughs> Same fella needs to go as well. I think Arteta's, some might say fortunate. Some might say it was a poison chalice, the fact that he won a trophy. So we always had that credit in the bank that he won the FA Cup. So it was almost like, okay, look, we won a trophy with him, though. Look, he's, he's won something. Um, obviously, this season is going to be very, very difficult for Potter to win anything. He's, the only thing that's available is the Champions League, and I don't think he's going to win that. Um, I just think Chelsea right now, the upheaval that's needed in the club, the reset button that needs to be pressed, I, I almost feel like it's too much for him. I think, I honestly, I'm not joking, I think this is a good manager, and I hope it's not one of those things where this really haunts him. I think he's a good manager, but I think... What needs to be done right now to that club and, and the, the issues surrounding it and player recruitment and him not even being involved in what players come to the club, because let's be honest, he's not. I think it's too much for a manager to come from Brighton where he probably had full control, full backing, the final say in everything, to come to Chelsea where he has no say. Mm. Zero I, backing. Do, do you think they're going to stick with him? Do you think it's in their interest? You're like, if it's, If this is relevant at all, you know, it's the same consortium that own the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah. There's a geezer called Dave Roberts, who's their manager. Mm -hmm. And they have persevered. Like, you know, Graham Potter, I think, has proven that if you give him time, he can do a good job. You look, he took over Brighton. He wasn't the overall favourite when uh, Chris, Chris Hughton... Yeah. yeah, he wasn't the overall favourite. But given time, he installs a system and it worked at Brighton. They have displayed the board have displayed patience with Dave Roberts over in the I, States. You know the thing with American sport, and I, I don't know if it gets as as horrible and ugly over here where the fans will turn on you. I'm mm. not quite sure. I haven't watched quite a lot of American sport. I, I don't you don't I don't know if I hear chance for the manager's head to go or for former managers. I, I think it'll be the fans that dictate whether he stays or not as opposed to Todd Bowley. I think you're right. I think Todd Bowley might say, you know what, no, no, we're sticking with him. Mm. He's our man long-term vision he seems like a nice guy mm. seems like someone that's not going to come into the boardroom and start throwing chairs and, and, around and you look at what happened against City yeah. at the end there yeah. you know when he's subbing on teenagers yeah. he's making a statement there isn't he future mm. isn't am I being do you no, feel I like think, no, I don't it's, think it's a statement. statement I don't think it's a statement I think it's a case of I don't have anything they're all injured I, I, it, it, no but when you're when you're subbing on teenagers mm. te like teen I think you're saying there's two things here it's I'm, a statement I'm, it's either a statement that I'm going to use the youth or it's a statement telling the board, I have no players, I need, I need back in here. And hence why, a couple of days later, you've got Jao Felix. Mm. Maybe maybe there's a bit into that. So, um, look, I, I, I just think the job's a lot. I think it doesn't help when there are managers out there, like you mentioned Zidane. There was a lot of talk Zidane's going to get the French job. Didier Deschamps re up now for a couple of years. So now Zidane's out there, unemployed. You've got Mauricio Pochettino, unemployed. I'm not quite sure if he'll go to Spurs, but he's there. There's other managers... <laughs> Bigger name managers, and I know a couple of your friends in your WhatsApp group have said, get Zidane. Mm. That's what Chelsea fans expect. Yeah, Enrique. Enrique you know the big names. Managers. Even Pochettino. Look, Pochettino's not for me, yeah. but I heard uh, Andy Jacobs today on the radio saying Did he say? Pochettino. Did he he say wanted Pochettino? Pochettino, yeah. Like, that's not for me, but yeah. I think people are asking about the heavyweights. You know, when you, when you manage a team like Brighton, and look, there'll be a lot of people, I'm looking down the barrel mm. to you guys now, there'll be a lot of people that'll say, oh, he's, he, he, he done so good at Brighton, I don't watch Brighton. Mm. Oh, none of these. None of not, 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 week not, not week in, week out. Not the week in, week out like Chelsea. you wasted. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he done, there was a time when Brighton fans were booing him. Yeah. It, don't get me wrong, it was great most times, but there was a time when Brighton yeah. fans were booing him. And it's very easy to do good on the South Coast when 
you know, you're not in that bullfish of everyone watching your results and looking at how you're playing. This is a completely different beast. Yeah. Every single week you're scrutinized. Every single week you the papers are writing about you, whether it be Matt Law or Henry Winter. Yeah. You don't get that at Brighton. So this you, pressure's incredible. So do you think he's capable? So this is this is the question. Is Graham Potter out of his depth? And the layers of that are the pressure. Like it takes a very particular man to be able mm. to be Manchester United manager. It takes a very particular man. Mate. Like not everybody can be Jurgen Klopp. It isn't only about do you have an understanding of football. It's about being the public face of Liverpool Football it's Club, an in British insane. institution. Do you have the personality to be that? And now this is what we're getting into. Try and try and. Right, let me, let me, <laughs> I don't I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question and be brutally honest mm. with me, yeah. And you are quite honest when it comes to football and Chelsea. Is Unai Emery a better manager than Graham Potter? Yeah, Emery. Yeah, yeah. of course he is. Unai, he's managing yeah. who? Villa. Okay. Is Lopetegui a better manager? I see what you're... Yes, I was is. asking you. That's asking yeah, you. Yeah, he is. So, you, let me, by so, the way. so let, me, let me understand something then. So, the, you, so Villa and Wolves have better managers than Chelsea. Because I'm telling you now, Lopetegui is not a better manager than Klopp. I'm telling you now, nor is Unai Emery. So the big boys have better... Ma so you're telling me small clubs, pardon me, small clubs like Wolves have a better manager than Chelsea Football Club. Is that what's going on nowadays? Is that what's going on they're, nowadays in West London? They're very they're very particular to that club. Like Unai Emery, I think he's a, he has an amazing track record. Yeah. You know, he has an amazing track record. I think people are slightly harsh about his time at Arsenal. I thought he did well at that club. But Unai Emery is a... It's impossible Unai for me won. To, Unai, Unai Emery's a better manager Unai than Emery Potter. Unai won the Europa League a couple of seasons ago as underdogs beating Manchester United. Unai Emery's a that, better manager it, than Potter today, but he isn't a better f he isn't a better long-term choice for Chelsea. But there's no, no such thing as a long-term choice because no one gets more than two years. But that's the point. That's the point. Well, he, Graham's not going to get it either. Let's be honest. You want the best manager in there right now that can stay there for three years. Cause that, I mean, look, Liverpool are lucky and Man City are lucky that's Klopp and Guardiola have stayed there that long. The average tenure in the Premier League is two and a half years. Not just at Chelsea, the average tenure yeah. in the Premier League, right? Excluding Sir Alex Ferguson and Wenger. So and he's Chelsea, only there Chelsea for two will be, Chelsea years. will be much less than that. Yeah, Chelsea will be 18 than months. Way sure. less than that. So, so give me the best manager. And right now, Wolves and Villa have a better manager than you. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I mean, you can't really Sorry, argue. The only, the, only way that you can, the only way that I can kind of make sense of that is... Mm. Th my basis for saying that... Mm is I think that Unai Emery is therefore a better manager than Mikel Arteta and he sits top of the league. Yeah. I think Lopetegui's record is better than, you know, it's, yeah. it, it, it doesn't quite tell the full story. Mm. But no, of course, of course, Unai Emery is a better, like he's a, I yeah, think he's a top CV. class manager. Look at your CV. I think he's a top CV's class insane. manager. I think he's in the B tier of yeah. managers. Where's your manager? Let's go through this actually, I'm happy you've done this. What's the A tier? Very the quickly. A tier is three. Go on. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, Pep, in no order, yeah. just three. Yeah. Jurgen Klopp, Antonio Conte, Pep Guardiola. Agreed. CV says, says so. And the B tier? Unai Emery is president of the B tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, founding member of U the B tier. Yeah. And we're not being disrespectful here when we just say this, people. We're just looking at it because what I'm trying to establish from you mm. is where your manager of Chelsea, who are one of the biggest clubs in the world, what tier he falls into. I think he falls into the third tier. Alongside the likes Alongside of Brendan Rodgers. Alongside Marco Silva. Bre okay, Marco Silva. Brendan Rodgers or Brendan Rodgers in the B tier? Brendan Rodgers might... Squeeze into <sighs> the B tier. FA Cup winner. It's gone wrong for him though. It's gone wrong, but this is the point though. Like, Yeah, I'm arguing over Brendan Rodgers is potentially... like, Yeah, I've yeah. lost the argument, haven't I? Because, yeah, you've lost the argument. Yeah. Because you're... Yeah, yeah, we've lost... Yeah. And that, that's why I think Chelsea are right now. They've got a manager. Thomas Frank. Chelsea football... Thomas Frank? No, I think he's a brilliant manager. Great, great manager. Brilliant manager. Great manager. Yeah, I don't. I think Marco Silva's good. Like, I know it didn't go well. I know at it didn't Everton. go well. Everton, but he's full of a seven. Good I know, he, I, they could. We're, fall getting, down. we're being facetious here, but yeah. but the point. But what stands, the point we're getting is that there'll be some fans of these clubs that'll argue that Graham Potter isn't as good as their manager. There'll be some. Well, there I, wouldn't be many. Of, there wouldn't be many football fans in the league. Mm. Like every manager, every fa every football fan would want Pep Guardiola at their club. Yeah. Every football fan would want Jurgen Klopp at their club. Yeah. Every football fan would want Antonio Conte, really. Really. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, they but would. They probably, would. They probably. Would. Yeah. Not many will be begging for the Chelsea manager currently. No. I think a lot would want Tuchel. I mean, mate, mate, no disrespect here. Yeah. The job he done at Brighton was fantastic. The Zerbe's come and done exactly the same job. It's not better. The eighth. I know. And, and this is the team that lost Cucurella Basuma. I know. And that, so it's not like. 
the job he's doing. If Brighton fell off a cliff, mm. it would actually make his stock be a bit better, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. look, I left and look at them. Yeah, yeah. Rubbish. They've yeah. fallen. Yeah. <laughs> New is coming like, easy <laughs> work, <laughs> mate. Light work. <laughs> Light work. We're eighth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this well, is been up this easy stuff. Dear, oh, dear. Addy has uh, always just been sorry, really good fun. I apologise. Sort of. um, but I, mean, I think that the conclusion is, not necessarily my opinion, but the conclusion of this video is he is out of his depth. He's out of his depth. Thank you so much for watching this video. A huge thank you to Adi Oladipo for exploring it with me. Please do me a favour. Click his link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. It really does help me out because otherwise he will stop doing these videos with me. So please, yes. please subscribe to Addy. Let us know your thoughts. Is Graham Potter out of his depth or are we being a little bit harsh and we need to display a little patience? As always, keen to hear your thoughts. So please let us know in the comments below. Have a wonderful night. Ta-da.